here? Well, but I hope he gets here soon. I want to feed him and get him out to his bowling before Joe gets here. Oh, is Joe seeing you again tonight? Sure. Remember, I read you the note he sent over this morning? He said, he said that we go to a few places first in the afternoon, and then if I couldn't find the ring I wanted for Ralph, he'd come back tonight with more samples. You sure going to a lot of trouble to get Ralph a Christmas gift. Tricky's been a good husband, and I want to make sure he'll be happy. Well, I got to get back upstairs and cook dinner for my good husband. <laughs> <laughs> I got to hurry up. So long. Oh, I almost forgot. I came down to return the cup of sugar you let me have yesterday. Oh, thanks, Tricky. Oh, yeah. Here. I'll be downstairs oh. in a half hour. We'll leave together. And listen, we're bowling the same team tonight. Don't worry about it. They haven't got a chance. They haven't got a... They haven't got a what? <laughs> What's the matter? Look out. What's the matter, Ralph? Get a load of this. Dear Alice, meet me at the same spot this afternoon and I'll take you around to a few places. <laughs> then I'll sneak up to your place tonight while Ralph is out bowling. <laughs> Signed, Joe. Yeah. Get a load of that. Then I'll sneak up to your place tonight while Ralph is out bowling. This bum is stealing my wife, sneaking up to our apartment, and he's got the gall to call me by my first name. How about that? Oh, that's terrible. Terrible. It's worse than that. This guy's trying to destroy an empire that's taken me 12 years to build. <laughs> hey, listen, Ralph. Listen, listen, maybe it is now it's his fault. I had the same thing happen to a friend of mine. It wasn't, it wasn't a friend's wife's fault. She was minding her own business, drinking all alone in a bar. Some guy come along and picked her up. <laughs> What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Listen, why don't you slap her around a little so she realizes what a sweet guy you are? No, I can't do anything like that. What are you gonna do? I don't know yet. I'll do something, though. I'll do listen, something. Listen, listen, Ralph, don't let it upset you, will you, pal? After all, come on, don't let it upset you. You're bow rotten tonight. <laughs> you don't think for a minute that I step out of here tonight, don't you? With that snake coming up here? No, sir, I'm staying. Well, Hi, Ralph. I gotta go up. Hey. Hi, Eddie. Hello, Alice. Hey, Alice. Yeah? My wife ever go out with you in the afternoon? <laughs> now and then. Yeah, peace. <laughs> What do you mean, hurry up and eat? Just what I said, hurry up and eat. Yeah, I know. But why hurry up? You're going bowling tonight, aren't you? Yeah. I might go bowling tonight. And then again, I might not go bowling tonight. Oh, Ralph, you gotta go. <laughs> why do I gotta go? Well, uh... Well, it's the night you generally go, isn't it? Yeah. The night I generally go? You know something, Alice, I've been thinking. I think I've been leaving you alone too much. Oh, go on, Ralph. Every man wants a night out. Yeah. And a lot of guys like the afternoon out. <laughs> hey, what's the matter with you tonight? What you acting so stupid about? <laughs> You're right, Alice. I'm stupid, all right. I'm stupid. No one knows any better. Not even me than you how stupid I am. What happened to you today? Did something fall on your head? Yes. The world. 
Oh, Ralph, if you got something on your mind, come out with it. All right. I'll come out with it. There it is! Well, uh... Don't well! Don't well explain it! <laughs> I, uh... Oh, I, 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 nothing! Tell me what it's gonna know! I can't. You can't? You can't explain it! Then I'll explain it to you! I'll explain it to you! You played me for a dope, Alex. For a long time, but I finally caught up with you. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Aren't you ashamed? Me out working hard all day. And you running around with some sneak by the name of Joe. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. No! Don't, Ralph! <laughs> maybe the Joe has got Cadillac. Maybe Joe's got fancy clothes, or maybe Joe's got fingernails that are manicured. Well, I could have had Cadillacs, and I could have had manicured nails, and I could have had fancy clothes. But I didn't throw my money away on anything foolish like that. No, sir. I took what little money I had and got a twin burial plot for us. <laughs> I'm not taking this land down, Alex. Now, there's your show. I'm going to get over there, and you let him in. Oh, Rob, please. Sir. You said, hey, me, let him in. <laughs> let him in. Has it gone yet? I've got the ring. You've got the ring for me, huh? Well, I got one for you, and I gotta put it right around your eye. Just a minute. Don't give me just a minute. Get him up. We're going. Oh, stop. Come on. Stop it. Don't tell me to stop. I'll explain the note. Go ahead and explain. This is Joe Benson. He's a jeweler. He was nice enough to look all over with me, trying to find you a decent ring I could afford. I was gonna give it to you for Christmas, but that's a little silly now. I'm very sorry, Joe. I'm sorry I put you on the spot. Oh, it's all right. It wasn't anything. Well, uh, I guess I'll go. Uh, good night. Baby, you look great. 